I think of it as a highly intellectual state. I think that marketing services would be instrumental because it has, there's sort of already a foundation of that here, you know, to create something where people's mindset shifts from being independent siloed workers to let's make Fairfield County a creative playground. Through marketing, it might be leveraging some kind of unified campaign. There are a lot of assets that we have here, a lot of big industries, a lot of media, for sure. And I think highlighting them and asking for their participation in some kind of unified message. I think we need to show other people the things that are here that they don't expect. Fairfield County is very creative. I just think right now, people outside of Fairfield County don't know that. It's full of contrast and full of interesting people with lots of different experiences. It's fairly international. There's a lot of creative, really innovative, interesting things going on in Fairfield County. Very talented, educated people out here that are doing some really interesting things. It offers a lot in terms of location, restaurants, activities, business. I think Stanford, it's a very accessible, price-friendly place for something new to start. It is closed. It is very comfortable living in and of itself. It's more of a very suburban, you know, I, I don't look at it as a creative hub. There are clearly a lot of talented, creative people here. The talent seems small and boutique -y and composed of hundreds of independent professionals. This is sort of a sophisticated and expensive mm -hmm. location. The infrastructure's there and there's a start and there's a start of a vibrant downtown in Stamford from restaurants to retail. could get people to come here if they could afford to live here and if they think people like them are here. I think there's a resistance to change here. I think there's a desire to keep Connecticut the way Connecticut is. Even disconnected intrastate, where Westport has no clue what goes on in Wilton, Wilton doesn't have a clue or care about what's going on in Fairfield or Bridgeport. Now, almost all of my neighbors commute every day into the city, and I think they just feel hostage to the sense that, you know, to have what you want to have here, you kind of have to do that. One is, you know, kind of a psychological barrier that other people probably think that we're just a bunch of rich people driving around in BMWs. Porta would be the kind of the go-to place. You'd want people when they think of marketing services and in a creative corridor, you'd want them to think of Fairfield County. Similar to Silicon Valley, there was a 10, 15 year period of a lot of creativity, but no one knew about it. Just kind of the mix of people here and the networking that happens is, I think it's, I think it's very vibrant and I think it's a pretty exciting place to be right now. It's a melting pot of different areas from creative agencies to arts, film. I'm thinking of a, you know, a, a road and as you go down that road, yes, there's an internet company in one building, but then in another building there's a, a brewery and then in another building there's an organic food company and the funny thing is all these things are here, but I just think it needs to be packaged we don't have to create it, it's already sitting here, we just have to tell people about it.